Hi Suka, thanks for coming sweetheart. Um, I'm hoping that my internet's going to be alright tonight. Um, I've upgraded to uh, G5. Um, they didn't tell me about this, they just let me, I, I complained about it. And I said, well, well what we'll do, we'll put you on the G5. I mean, why would they do that in the first place, Suka? Um, I hope uh, everything's okay, Suka. It's a bit boring at the moment, this uh, thing, it's driving everybody mad. Everybody having to stop in. But what can you do? There's not a lot. Let's just hope uh, we can get a few people in tonight. We've got two people now. Somebody else just coming. Is that our family? Thanks for the like. Hi, Helen. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. <clears throat> Very nice of you to come and spend some time in the kitchen with me. Bob the Raptors and Joe. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome of you. I really enjoyed your live stream. And thanks for making me uh, welcome, Bob. Bob and Joe. If you ain't got Bob and Joe, check them out. Absolutely awesome. Now... I'm hoping, I'm praying that our, my internet is sorted out now. Um, I complained about it, told them about the buffering and all that caper. Um, and what they've done, they've put me on G5. They said, don't tell any of your lads or anything um, and everything should be fine. Now, why didn't they tell me that before? Why didn't they give me a good one in the first place? Eh? Well, there you go. That was fun live. Paul, thanks for coming, my friend. Absolute awesome of you. Bargain by. Thanks for coming, uh, Russ. Awesome of you. really is. Thanks for coming. Uncle Dan, 58. Welcome. Welcome to the kitchen. Raphael Scrapper. Thanks for coming, my friend. I really do appreciate it. And what we're going to be doing tonight, my friend, is crispy chilli beef. Now, this is... Uh, one of my favourites, as you know, I'm a, a spice freak, so it's got to have chilies in it, it really has. TGHD, welcome. Brenda, welcome to the live stream. Absolutely awesome. 11 people in and 5 likes. Right, my friends, less of the waffle and let's get cooking. Hi, the trips, welcome. All the way from Canada, the trips, well, they're not specially flown over to come to my kitchen, like, but they're an awesome uh, channel. They do reviews, uh, food, burgers, pizzas, that kind of stuff. Pretty much the same as what Bob and Joe uh, Raptors do. Absolutely fantastic. Everybody grab each other. Grab each other. Right, my friends, what we need for this. What I've done, I've put a pan of boiling water on there, salted boiling water. That is simmering away lovely. That's going to be for your noodles. Hi, David Wardle. Welcome. Absolutely fantastic of you. Right, less of the waffle. All keep mingling. Have a good chat. Show the love to each other. Uh, and let's get on with this recipe. Right, my friends, what we need for this is ginger. Some strips of ginger, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of sweet chilli, buy that in any supermarket, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of tomato ketchup, any ketchup, it's entirely up to yourself. You want four spring onions, uh, cut up into strips, uh, half a chilli, finely sliced like so. Get all these out of the way. Uh, a yellow pepper, you can use yellow, green, red, sky blue ginger, it's entirely up to yourself. But... Um, as you know, I don't use the green ones because I think I find them bitter, the uh, capsicums. Uh, yellow or red for me, orange, all the nice sweet ones. So there's one of them in there as well. You want 
four tablespoons of red vinegar or you can use white wine vinegar it all depends what you've got in the uh, store cupboard that will do exactly the same and what you want then my friends is some strips of beef now I've used a uh, ribeye steak because that is my favorite um, we only have the best on here we really do uh, bow star thanks for coming my friend absolutely awesome of you here's another great guy UK scrapper Paul uh, just watched your video actually Paul uh, clearing your van out you've got to get this scrapping my friend this Christmas is coming you've got them presents to buy and don't forget mine if I need to send a lorry to any of you tonight uh, for my Christmas present from you from all of you just let me know and I'll hire the van and I'll send it down for you okay Sweet and sour Chinese style, cool, well mixed of taste. You're going to love this one, uh, uh, Raphael. Right, and also, my friends, you're going to need a tablespoon of Chinese five spice, three tablespoons of corn flour. Now, this seems as though there's a lot of ingredients, but trust me, it isn't. It's, it's easy, easy peasy, this is. Right. This is the first thing we're going to do. We want two to three tablespoons of corn flour. Level teaspoon will be alright. Tablespoon, sorry. So three tablespoons of corn flour I think we all know what corn flour is what corn flour does with meat my friends it tenderizes the meat so if you want your meat nice and tender when you stir fry use corn flour right your five spice in there my friends hope you're all having a fantastic day if you want to share us out that would be uh, much appreciated I think we've got uh, our internet sorted. Puckers. G5. Why didn't they do this in the first place? And I do apologise for my last video, my last live stream. It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing to watch. Unbelievable. I, I, just, I, just, I just can't get my breath over it. Right, mix your corn flour with your five spice. Put uh, your, your meat in. Like I say, I've, I've used uh, stir, um, ribeye steak. It's entirely up to yourself what you want to use. It's what you can afford, basically. I mean, if you want to stay along, I'll stay along. If you really want to go to town, let's use the uh, let's use the fillet. It's entirely up to yourself. Or just get the cheap beef. It will still be as good. It's just that we're, uh, we're just a little bit harsh, that's all we are. Right, that's that done, my friend. Let's keep getting that out of the way. So that's your uh, corn flour in there, your five spices, and your sliced beef. Get yourself a plate ready there, because when we do the beef, we're going to transfer it onto there. Right, the next step, my friends, get yourself a bowl, my friends. And what we want in here is two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Don't have to be irons, it could be any, it's entirely up to yourself. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Sweet chilli, two tablespoons. Get it all in there, let's not waste it. And you want four tablespoons of vinegar. I'm using the red wine vinegar, you can use uh, white wine, it's entirely up to yourself. What have you got in the store covers, like I say? And we just incorporate all that into there. Right, 
Right, you're all having a fantastic day. We really do appreciate you coming, I really do. 11 people, 12 likes. Absolutely fantastic. And can you see that the internet's fine? Uh, is, it, is it clear? Can everybody see okay? Am I buffering? It's foggy here in Yorkshire. I think it's going to be foggy here as well, Alan. It's getting uh, looking a bit uh, damp and whatever. Right, my friends, let's uh, launch this out of the way. Right, my friends, get yourself a wok or a frying pan, it's entirely up to yourself. I'm thinking about changing my name from uh, Carry On Jeff and John to Carry On The Two Wok Chef. How about that? Just put enough uh, olive oil in the bottom there just to cover it. Get the pan nice and hot. I want to get that nice, nice and burnt. Massive thank you, sweetie, for my card and pen. I absolutely love it. You are so welcome. So welcome, Wendy. You really are. Um, if anybody wants a pen, a Carry On Jeff and John pen, just leave it in the comments. I'm trying to get hold of uh, Raphael. Would you do me a favour, my friend? Um, could you could you send Paul, UK Scrapper, my um, email, please? I've been trying to get hold of him. I've added it in me about on my channel. It's there. So. And then I can send it to him. Um, there's about six gone off now. Um, six pens have already been posted. Um, who did I do? I've sent another two off. One to uh, Denise. Uh, Nana's cooking. And one to Paddy Joe. That's another one that's gone, gone there. So Paul, UK Scrappers. Um, look in my about description, you will see my email address, send me yours and I will send you a pen my friend. And at Christmas we're going to be giving a, doing a giveaway, gloves, uh, tea towel, pen, coasters, some nice little goodies for us. Braveheart Scrapper, thanks for coming, welcome Susan Lee. You're all welcome. Absolutely awesome. 14 people, 15 likes. I'm so glad I've got this internet sorted. I really have. Right, my friends. While we're doing that, put your, uh, your noodles in there, my friends. A nice little swimmer there to take about five minutes. Right, my friends. Put your chicken, chicken, your beef in there. I've got chicken on my mind because I've got to do another dish after this. I've got to do a mozzarella chicken for my lad for work. The cold weather's coming in now, so I don't think he wants sandwiches. So he's asked for some noodles and that, so that's what he's having. Mozzarella chicken. I'll do that recipe for us. I'll do with mozzarella chicken um, on the next one. I was going to do it tonight, but uh, there's, a, there's a, lot, a lot going on. A lot going on, my friends. So all we need to do now... ...is just seal in all the flavours, my friends. I want to thank everybody that's come in tonight and shown the love. Absolutely fantastic. Just Mike, thanks for coming my friend. Mike, I had a lot the other day, you've not uploaded for a bit, so I was going to come and see you. Um, I hope everything's okay Mike, I really do. Bowstar, thanks for coming my friend. 
Like I say, you leave me a comment and I will get back to you. I really will. Without a shadow of doubt. Just because I'm monetized, it doesn't mean that I don't need you to come and uh, give me some watch time. Um, and leave me a comment. Because this is the time when you really do need uh, your family around you. I spend hours answering comments now. You leave me a comment and I'll always be there for you. I really will. And that's what it's all about. 18 people, 15 likes. Absolutely brilliant. It really is. Remember what I told you, the corn, the corn flour um, will tenderise your meat. You want to cook this for about three minutes now. Well, three to four minutes till it's nice and crispy. That's what we're looking for. Absolutely awesome, it really is. Oh, sounds lovely, John. I've had a lovely time. I'll read that in a minute, Mike. BJ Summer, welcome to the live stream. Absolutely awesome of you, it really is. So basically just cook this so it starts to crisp up. Can you see? Can you see my friends how it's starting to crisp up? That's what we're looking for my friends. Had a lovely time at our peaceful protest. Thanksgiving dinner Saturday. Fantastic. Yeah, it's been Thanksgiving. How long does a Thanksgiving last for, uh, Mike? Is it, does it just last for the one day, or does it last for a week, or, or what? Yes, it's uh, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving Day to everybody. How's weight going there, uh, Wendy? Something all right? Just one day. Is that like a Christmas then, Mike? Is that like a Christmas? Oh, look how this is crispy, not my friends. Oh, awesome, my friends. And while while it's crisping up, it's kick locking in all them flavours in there. Hi, Suka. Just one day, John. Right. I'm being educated here now, aren't I? Look how that's crisping up, my friends. And don't forget, you can use any any meat you want, as well, long as it's beef, or it's not cat. We don't want cat meat or dog meat, do we? Well, like I say, this is a nice ribeye. Right, my friends. To transfer that onto there. Really, you should put it on a bit of kitchen roll. But, um, I haven't got any. Oh, I can't be bothered anyway. So not to worry. Not to worry, my friends. Right. Keep that there. And all we do now is you get your yellow rare uh, capsicum. Like I say, you can use any capsicum you want. Um, I don't like the green. Like I say, I just don't like, I just don't do green ones. I always find them the bitter. Right, my friends. Just soften these off. And cut them up, make sure you cut them up nice and thin for this recipe. Because the thinner the better and it'll be quicker. It cooks quicker. That's why when you do uh, stir fry and all that, it's nice and thin, my friends. You don't cook your vegetables very long. Right, my friends. Put your uh, scallions in. We're getting posh now. Your spring onions. Uh, four, four, four spring onions. And half of um, a red chilli. Put that in my mouth again. I'm just going to turn them noodles down slightly, my friends. We don't want to overcook them. Put your garlic in, my friends. Put 
garlic, your strips of ginger, you're all absolutely awesome, I really do appreciate you coming. Now we've got this internet sorted out, we are going to be rocking and rolling my friends. You know that saying. Now we don't want to cook um, the ginger and the garlic too long, otherwise it'll burn. Right, put your uh, crispy beef back in there my friend. Absolutely awesome. So look at that. Colours and flavours in there, phenomenal. They really are. If you don't want it spicy, like I say, don't put uh, your red chillies in. It's entirely up to yourself. Right, my friends. Now we've done that. What we want to do now is put your mixture in there like so. And just let that bubble away and get it all mixed in there like that. Just make sure you've coated everything in there like that. Oh, beautiful. Right, my friends. <coughs> Drain the noodles. Put that over there, my friends. Ready for plating up. Voila. Your noodles in there, my friends. And all we want then is to put your crispy beef on there like that. Oh, my friends, if you could smell, if you could smell this. Absolutely awesome. Presentation means everything to me. As you well know my family. Then all we want to do then, for an extra bit of spice, is just put your other half of your chilli and some red scallions, spring onions as we call them in the UK. There you are. Take it away, uh, waiter. <coughs> Table number 42. Just put that over there. Just going to take my thumbnail, my friends. I don't think it makes a lot of difference what the presentation's like or whatever. You've just got to be lucky that you get noticed. Really, have. yours gets picked and we might get a few views. But there you are, my friends. Crispy chilli beef with noodles. Now, how easy was that, my friends? There we go. Looks lovely John, thank you Paul. 
Um, I think we've smashed it. We've smashed another one out. I'm just going to say hello to one or two people. Hi, Kathleen. Kathleen, sweetie, hello. Looks lovely, John. Super duper. Hey up, Malik. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. So nice, John. Thank you, Mike. Hey, my darling. Mike, all is well. Very grateful. Thank you. Looks lovely and tasty. Looks tasty. Made my mouth water. Kathleen Ellis, lovely to see you. It really is, darling. I've been missing you so much. That does look a great meal. Thank you, Ellen. I really do appreciate uh, all your support, everybody. Um, what more can I say? Suka's hungry. I'm so pleased that the internet's working. How good is it now, eh? Well done, dish buddy. Thank you, Raphael. Susan, Wendy Gill, hello. My stomach's making that noise. Suka, it makes mine rumble as well. I've just, I've already had my dinner as well. I've had pork chop for tea. Pork chops, mashed potato, Brussels sprouts, mashed Sweden carrots with a nice bit of butter cream. Um, yeah, mashed Sweden carrot, uh, uh, plenty of black pepper in it. Does anybody like mashed Sweden carrot? Oh, it's awesome. I'm going to be working on some uh, Christmas recipes in the next two or three weeks. So I can see what I can come up with there. Lady, I will grab it if you keep John talking. All right, when you keep me talking and then when you can pinch it. John, cornstarch corn on the thin sliced meat is called velvet zinging. Velvet zinging. Well, I call it tenderising, Brenda, but thanks for the uh, for that big word. Thanks, Brenda. Ali Mac, thanks for coming, my friend. Yeah, I do, Ali. What do you mean, yeah, I do, Ali? You never know what Ali's saying, honestly. He, he, he's Scottish. I call you the new Ali. What do you mean, Ali? Love Sweden carrot mash. With tons of pepper and butter. Ellen, oh, to die for. Love it. We always have it every Christmas as well. Oh. I tell you what my, my luck is. My oven's packed in. The elements are gone. So good job I, uh, I didn't need the oven tonight. But I've had to do my pork chops on a, on a griddle. Walla. Puckers. So I always like to do my meat, steak, chicken or like that. On a griddle pan in there for the last 10, 12 minutes. How good is this internet, family? I've got to drink plenty of water, I've been told, so that's what I'm doing. This is uh, my third bottle. And I'm doing well to have three bottles. I don't really drink a lot. I used to drink a hell of a lot of water. But with being diabetic, you've got a uh, mouth... Wife has said, John, you've got to start drinking plenty of water. You've got to look after yourself. You know what I mean? The problem with me internet, Alan, um, I rang them up. Um, and I told them it was buffering and it was stressing me out. And it kept going up every five, uh, five seconds or a minute or whatever. And you know what it was? You know what he said to me? He said, there's too many devices going on. You've got 10 devices going on in, in your house. Phones, games, you know, PS, whatever they are. I said, yeah, but they're not all going at once. He said, well, if you get two or three, they're all draining it. And YouTube takes a lot of power when you do live stream. So what are you done? I hope my lads ain't listening. Because they put me on G5. He said, I'm going to put you on G5. But if no other devices go on it, you're going to be all right. And I've checked it. On my old uh, internet, 
what, 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 what the others are still on, is 147 megabytes. This is 740. I've just checked the settings and that. 740. No wonder that we're uh, cooking on gas. Very small, definitely, John. All good, David. Hope you're all well. MT. Thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely awesome of you. Uh, thanks for that uh, essay. It took me three days to read it, uh, MT. But uh, I'm none the wiser. People say to it, let's have a one-to-one -one and all that. I don't know. How do you do that? I mean, the only way I would have a one-to-one -one with anybody is phone them up. Do you know what I mean? It's very, very hard to get bloody help anyway. Here, anyway. Yeah, it's great, John, no buffering. MT, did you get a crystal hung? MT, laugh out loud. I heard of G5 on a mobile iPhone 12 uses it, I think. Glad it's sorted now, anyway. See, I'm on, a, I'm on a, a Samsung, I am. I'm not on my phone, my phone's here. People think I, I, I do it on my phone and all that, you know what I mean? Um, but it's on, I'm on a, a, a Samsung here. I can get on with that. I know how to switch it on, I know how to go live. The only thing I don't know, if anybody knows, is how do I schedule it? How do I do the time? Because as soon as I take my, uh, as soon as I type it in, press done, and go to, uh, and then wait for the live. It thinks I'm going to come on live straight away. So, say I was going live on Wednesday. Where do you go? I mean, I go on to me, uh, uh, create a post and put a time in. I mean, I don't put a time in there. I just say, I'm going Wednesday, 9 o'clock, blah, blah, blah. So, how do you do that? How do I do a time? So say like tonight I'm going on at nine o'clock. As soon as I'm waiting and I'm ready to go live, it's saying on there, due to go live at 20.53, when I've uh, took the picture and done the thumbnail and all that, ready to go live. So how do you do that? And also, does anybody know how to download non-copyright music to iMovie on my phone. Now, I've been learning to do some editing on my iPhone on iMovie, um, iMovie. See, I'm getting used to it. I can do, I can do, uh, I don't know how to cut out and all that, but I know how to put texts on to split it and stuff like that, so I am learning. But the only thing is, I'm trying to get someone to teach me. Someone showed, someone showed me, wrote it all down and all that. I couldn't even get past the first step. It said URL number. I don't know what URL is it. Ulster Republic Lardons or something. URL. I'm not, honestly. It's so frustrating. I'm not a... I'm a chef. Give me a steak, give me some food, I'll cook it for you. But when it comes to computers, I'm a million. I really am a million. If I could get someone to come come and do it all this for me and revamp my, my channel and, and show me where I'm going wrong and that, I would gladly pay them. If it costs me two, three hundred quid, I'll get it done. Can't be done, I just can't. Honestly, it's embarrassing. URL is your YouTube barcode, it's easy to understand. Suki, you say it's easy, but I don't know. I, if I ask any of lot, they don't want to know. So Dad, all you, all you go on about is asking questions and all that. I say ask questions because I don't know, I don't understand. If you don't understand something, you've got to keep asking and asking and asking. I just need someone to come and sort it out for me. I really do. I know it's like URL, I don't know Suki. Where do you find the URL? And how do I get music? There's no such thing as free music on um, on on, on uh, YouTube. It's paid for. It's a 30 day trial. I want to know how you can get music to my iPhone to iMovie. 
I don't need any more, any of the, any other editing because I've just got used to this iMovie. And when I wrote a text on one of me, uh, on one of me projects, I nearly wet me sin. I couldn't believe it. I said, look, I've done it. I've, I've, I've actually put a text on it. How sad is that? But there you go. Usually be writing. YouTube library is a, is a good source. Is it possible? It's on your YouTube. Is it possible, does anybody know, is it possible to transfer non-copyright music to my iPhone on iMovie? Is that possible? If anybody could help me, MT, Rappel, or Helen, or Wendy, or anybody, if you could send me a comment and sh tell me how I do it, what links I have to do and all that, trust me, I, I would be much appreciated. That would, honestly, I would, that would be fantastic if someone could do that for me. Put it in, the what I've got to do. You know, go on here, press this, press that, press that. And that's all that's all I need. That's what I, all I need. Someone put it in a comment for me. I'm just saying when you're going to change internet provider, I pay thirty-three pound and it's so slow. I was to upload a video video. It takes me it takes me really it takes me what, six, seven hours? But I think that's the same for everybody, Alan. Um, so there you go. It's just one of them things. Um, we have all ours in. I'll tell you one to try, Alan, if you want to sort some out. Go to Utility Warehouse. Uh, we change from here or not. We have our gas, electric, phone, and broadband all under the same roof. And some of the perks you get is unbelievable. And it costs us £185 a month. Now that might sound expensive, but it's a lot cheaper for us because this is a five bedroom bloody house. So it's going to take uh, a bit of gas and electric and stuff like that. But we are saving a little bit, but you get little perks off here and all that. So check them out. UK Utility. And if you want to know, I'll, 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 I'll text you it or whatever if you're interested. Oh, you're sitting out of the car park to upload. As the car park. Do you know what? Now, this is honest, this is. I'm sure I've seen you in there, Alan. I'm sure you're stalking me. Was you in Burton on Trent Asda in a car with, you know, with your Russian hat on? Because I thought, that's the Ice Princess there. I'm bloody sure it was. Don't worry about it's getting cold, because... That'll get it. And if feeling noodles are drying out a bit, put a splash of water on, whack it in there, two minutes, job done. Now that's another tip for you. Paddy Joe cooking. Thanks for coming, here he is. Fantastic guy. Paddy Joe cooking. You've all grabbed him, he's, he's brilliant, he really is. Paddy, your pen's gone. Um. I nearly fell over in the post office when I found out how much it was to send one to Australia. I said to the woman behind me, I said, how much? She said, blah, blah, blah. I said, you're having a laugh. I said, I tell you what, here's such and such. You may as well get yourself, a, get your own Christmas present out of it as well, wouldn't you? Unbelievable. All I'm sending is a pen and a card. Frightening. Absolute frightening. I hope you don't get stopped over in customs and that, uh, Paddy. Do you know what I mean? With it being a pen, the mark feel it, you think, you know what? Is this a needle or something? You know what I mean? I'm happy with smuggling drugs or something. You know what I mean? But let me know, Paddy, when it comes, my friend. Nor me, Raphael Scrapper. I never use it on the phone. 
Raphael likes his PC. I appreciate it though, John. No problem, I'm bothered about that. I was just, just making a point, Paddy. You know how, how it is. Bloody rip-off, honestly. I think I've got to... Hang on a minute, I'm going to show you something. I got these the other day, my friends. To go in the goodie bag for Christmas. Some coasters. Carry on, Jeff and Grongle. Now we're rocking. Hey, right, I'm going to get some oven gloves and tea towel. I've got the wife onto that. Voila. So that's going to go in the goodie bag as well. I forgot about them. So you thought this was fish and chips, didn't you? Hey? Right. Keep them in there nice and shiny. There we go. Put them on there with all the other goodies. I love it. I love getting, honestly, I love giving things away. Can't give me car away yet, because I might need that, you know, to pick all your presents up and that. Bloody, he's posh Paul. So, Raphael, Paul, if you don't look in my, on my channel, look in me. Hey, up. Bloody hell, why am there? Thought it was bloody black pudding. You mean pies are going? Hey. Well, we've done well for two minutes without it uh, crashing that. That's fantastic. The coaches look cool. Brenda thought it was black pudding. It can't be black pudding, darling. Not that flat anyway. Percy Pigs from Marks and Spencer's Mac Vitties Rich Tea in the post. Percy pigs. They go mad for them, Ellen, here. Percy pigs. Oh, Joe Morris, Marks and Spencers. We have Percy pigs uh, once every three years from Marks and Spencers. Because we can't afford to shop in there. Not like this, Ellen. She's too posh. Too posh, this Ellen is. She can't get a job, but she shops in all the, uh, all the expensive places. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It does, Wendy. Cost a fortune, giving giveaways and stuff like that. My lad said, why don't you sell them? Ah, bloody sell them. They're family. You don't charge your family. Yes, I know, Ali Mac, I think every time they update something, it goes funny. So do I. I think I go funny as well. Eh? Unbelievable. See, I'm on the last drop of water. What am I going to do? Oh. I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream drinking water. Can't remember the last time I had a pint of Guinness. Oh, probably over a year now. That's why the old timber's coming off. But I love it, everyone mingling and having a good chat amongst each other. Absolutely brilliant. What Percy Pigs, John? It's um, sweets, like chewy, chewy uh, candy. Not candy, chewy, what are they? They're like, they're like a pig, Brenda. Um, oh. They like chewing them, but they're not chewing them. Yeah, it, it's like a candy. It's like a candy, as you call it, Brendan, in America, because you call it candy. Yeah, like gummy sweet. That's it. Thanks for helping us out, tell them. Susan Lee, laugh out loud. She sits in the she sits in the background and just laughs at us all she does, Susan. Absolutely fantastic. I do have still like half a bottle of left laugh out loud. I'm not going to drink it all tonight. Ha, ha. Well, the drinks are on now, Raphael. Unbelievable, he, he likes the tot. He really does. Raphael, you're awesome, my friend. Thomas. Thomas. I think what I'm going to do with Thomas, because he's, he's, he's sometimes, he's getting a bit late lately, um, I might buy him um, an alarm clock. That's what I'm going to do, Thomas. Buy you an alarm clock. 
Eh? Now nah, I'm only joking, my friend. Yeah, like a wine gum. Yeah, without the without the booze in it. Whenever we get them, because my missus loves them uh, Percy pigs, you don't put them on the table, because when the kids go through, they've gone. They're like farmers rounding up the pigs. And you say, where's all them Percy pigs gone? Don't know, Dad. The mum met them. The mum met them, she wasn't even bloody here. You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Buy me one too, John. Okay, get you alarm clock as well. But what it costs to send a pen, to send a, 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 a clock over there, I think I'd have to sell the Range Rover to get one over there, Paddy. It'd be, it'd be cheaper for me to come and fly over to uh, Melbourne. It really would. I'll tell you what, there's some nice... Uh, I enjoyed that one where you would drove around and showing us all them where you live and then restaurants and all that. I'd love to go to the Mexican one. I really would. Really would. Lovely place where you live. I tell you what, where Paddy Joe Cooking lives, I'm not kidding you, the air is so posh, it's like um, where all the stars live. Mind you, Paddy's a star anyway, so you can see what, he live, what, uh, what kind of house he lives in. It's got to be at least 17 bedrooms. No swimming pool and all that. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. Beautiful area. So fair play to you, Paddy. Called John's going to visit Melbourne. I tell you what, my friend. Um, when my kids leave home, and when all this crap is over with, I've always wanted to go to Australia. And if I come to Melbourne, we're going to that Mexican re uh, restaurant, Paddy. I honestly... I would love that. I would love to meet all my YouTube family. It's great, honestly. It really is. I can fit in two days ice cold with a slice. I'll pick you up from the airport. Brilliant. Brilliant, Paddy. That would be absolutely awesome. We'd love to meet you. Love to meet... Helen, Wendy, Raphael. I always wanted to meet Raphael because he's, he's a great guy. I've been friends a long time now. He's a great guy. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever wish to meet, uh, Raphael Scrapper. Um, you're all absolutely brilliant. You really are. Really are awesome. Paddy, Paddy, if he wasn't for Helen, I wouldn't have met Paddy. He's a great guy. He really is. I'm not a beer drinker, that's a nice rosy wine. Oh, you like rose, rose wine, do you, uh, Wendy? I did have some rose wine. It'd be cheaper to deliver it to you, wouldn't it? Rose wine. Oh, what does my mum drink? That rose wine. Oh. Kerry? Yeah. What's that wine my mum drinks? What's that rosé wine my mum drinks? What's the name of it? What's that red wine that my mum drinks? She used to always have. Rosé? Yeah, what's the name of it? Echo Falls. Oh, Echo Falls. Like a fruit one. Yeah, like a fruit one. Echo Falls, do you like that? Ian Matthews, thanks for dropping by my friend. Absolutely brilliant. Just point at the map and go, John. <laughs> Australia beautiful. Hello, Ian. You would love it to your suka. It bloody would cost you a bloody fortune to, to go to Australia. But who cares? You only live once. You have to take all your beer bottles back. You remember when you used to take your Newcastle Brown bottles back, Kurt Paul? You used to get money for them. Collect, keep collecting them uh, beer bottles and we can all go to Australia. We'll all save up together. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Melt in your mouth. Oh. Melt in your mouth, my friends. I cut that so long today. With a blunt fork. 
That's how tender that is, my friend. You'll love that. Mm. It's like a sweet and sour taste, that is. Beautiful. You can really taste the, uh, the five spices coming through. Really can. Beautiful. YouTube, already sounds good. Hello, Paddy. Lady likeable. Seen a lot of beer bottles laugh out loud. You bloody would. You? If you get Ian Matthews and Raphael in your van, we might have enough to get a taxi, perhaps to the airport. Paul, what do you reckon? Hey, keep collecting that scrap, lads. That's where the money is in that scrap economy. Look at all the gold that they find. You never know what you're going to find. Somebody's rubbish is somebody's game. That's what they say. Catch you later, John. Looks a nice dish. Paul, you're a legend, my friend. I really do appreciate you dropping by. Um, if I don't see you next week or whatever, Merry Christmas. Top man, thank you. Sydney Melbourne, I want to visit and the mountain. Ellen, it's not that I don't want to have a drink. I'm on call 24-7. Awesome. Awesome, David. What do you do for a living, David? Try this dish, Raphael. You won't be disappointed. you like this one, my friend. You will love it, trust me. Alan, I do start early. What on the drink? Is it on the drink, Alan? Or, I mean, what do you mean you start early? It's five o'clock somewhere. Somewhere at the lady. I'm a press photographer, firstly, but I do stuff with the fire service. Absolutely awesome. Brilliant, David. Fantastic. We've got a fireman here. And we got a, a press photographer. I'm glad you don't know. I'm glad you don't know where I live, Dave. I don't want to go in no press. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be going on police five or anything like that. You know what I mean? Fantastic job. That's got to be so interesting. It really is. Mini Cooper. I don't drink. Well, I'm not surprised, Mini, because you're not old enough. So that's why you don't drink, my friend. The amount of people that are underage that drink is unbelievable. I sometimes drive home, go, go past the shop or whatever, and they're spinning around like stunned flies. You know when you, sp you spray a fly and it spins round and all that? That's how they are. And last night I nearly ran uh, a kid over, uh, staggering in the road. Unbelievable. If I'd have known who he was, I'd have chucked him in the back and I'd have took him home. But at the end of the day, it ain't worth getting involved because you don't know what they're going to do next. That's the problem when people are drunk. Don't know what they're going to do next. That was funny, Thomas. Thomas is funny anyway. See, Thomas, he doesn't drink. He's not getting married until he's 30. Um, the kid knows what he's doing. He really does know what he's doing. He wants 50,000 in the bank by the time he's 20. Keep playing that guitar, Thomas. One day, you, my friend, you might get lucky. Because life is all about luck, my friend. You've got to get noticed. You know what I mean? You've got to find somewhere to put your bloody money, Thomas, because you don't get noticed in the bank. You know, if you get, you're lucky if you get uh, £30 at the end of the year. Absolutely terrible. You've got to put it somewhere else. 17 people, 21 likes. Absolutely brilliant. I really do love it, honestly. I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to drink beer, but I might drink a little bit of wine. Just a little bit. I get paid £100 a month. That's brilliant. 
That's absolutely fine. Is that just your pocket money, uh, Mini? Does that include your uh, cigarette money in that? Do you smoke, Thomas? £100 a month is, is pretty good. My, my lad, Luke, is the last one to get to work and I can't wait till he starts work. But he's, he cost me minimum 50, 60 quid a week. And if I get away with that, I've done well. Honestly. They get the pocket, well, he gets his pocket money, then he wants money for that. Then he wants something for a takeaway, then he wants something for a pizza, and it's just want, want, want. But when he's 18, that is the time when I will be doing ring a ring of roses in the street. Honestly, naked. That's what I'll be doing. I'll be the happiest man in the world. Don't mind treating them, but I've treated them since, uh, since birth. And they are hard work. They are bloody hard work. They cost you a fortune. Hi Wendy. I'm the least fanciful person in my fire kit. Never talk yourself down, David. Um, you might not be the best, best looking bloke in the world or, or in the fire or whatever. Who cares, my friend? I still get my money back on the ghost train. So you've got, so you've got a problem. I've got one as well. And when I used to go to the fair, you know the ice, the the, the um, house of mirrors. I used to go in there and I used to uh, scare myself. That's how bad it is. That's why I don't go to the fair anymore. Silk has been arrested, has she? Suka, what are you doing, Doc? What are you doing? Yeah, Suka got arrested. Oh, you don't mess around with her. You're right there, Ellen. Quiet ones are the worst. They really are the worst. Whew. I won't mess around with any of you lot on here. Trust me. Got the Ice Princess. You've got Wendy. Can you imagine Wendy, uh, Suka, um, and Helen together. Can you imagine them three in, in, in the pub together? What? You wouldn't need Dorman. You wouldn't need Dorman. They sort everybody out. Well, the three of them will tear up the town. You are so right, Mike. You are so right, my friend. You really are. Unbelievable. The Ice Princess. Uh, you've got Wendy and then you've got Kung Fu Suka. Because I bet she can do uh, Kung Fu and that. Because I don't, I don't know if it's right, um, Suka. But from birth, you know, when you get to a certain age in Thailand and that, how you learn that, you know... Hong Kong fairy stuff and that. I've seen programs of like in Japan and Thailand and like, as soon as they get up in the morning they start doing all this karate chopping and all that. You know, and, and, and praying and that. Is, is that part of the ritual? I think it's brilliant, I do. I used to do Taekwondo when I was about 16. That was quite a good age to go to the night clubs and that. I used to do the splits and that. I used to think I was brilliant. Um, if I went to do the splits now, I wouldn't get up. I'd be like a, you know, like an helicopter um, propeller. One there, one there. That's how my legs would be. And I'd have to walk up. I would. I'd have to crawl along the floor on my, on my, uh, on my backside cheeks. I really would. I'm a million now. But as you get older, you're not so flimsy. All Thai boxing, that's it. My nickname is Chewbacca, something to do with my size and long hair. <laughs> Dave, you're awesome, my friend. Absolutely awesome. Did you ever find this shoe, Suka? 
Did you ever find it, darling? Hey? Anybody found a shoe? I think I'm five foot seven, something like that. That's quite tall, five foot seven. Absolutely. That's really tall. You're like a giant, Thomas. I can still get my left leg around my shoulders, but not my right. It gets... It gets stuck. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable, Ellen. Ellen! Why don't you do a video? And show us... You... Putting your left leg around your shoulder. That would be a sensation. That would be a hit, Helen. It really would. But there's only one thing to make it even better, Helen, is to wear a mini skirt. Then that's going to be an epic. So we're all waiting now for Lady Larkable to put her left leg uh, on her shoulder in a mini skirt. Now, how awesome will that be? Hey, that'd be brilliant. Brilliant. So when are, you, when are we going to do that? When are you going to load that one then, Alan? That'd be brilliant. I would watch it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll watch it. So you've got two views there already. Yeah, so one more drink. You will get your eye. <laughs> oh, Mark, you're so funny. I love Mark, he's brilliant. That's it. <laughs> oh man. You do have a laugh on here, you really do. It's not glamorous, John, probably get taken down. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. As long as, as, long as you're not exposing anything, that's fine, they can't do anything about it. If there was, we'll all be rioting. You'll be all right. Perhaps wear bloomers. Put some bloomers on, they'll be all right. But not only about putting your thongs on, because, you know what I mean, we've got to keep it clean like But Yeah, it'd be good, like Mike said. Bottle of your £100 bottle of champagne, and you will get both of them around there. Unbelievable, it would be brilliant. When you can do the splits. I used to be able to, like I said, when I used to do the Taekwondo, but the only splits I can do now is banana splits. Nice bit of vanilla ice cream. Oh, banana splits. And oh, gorgeous. No, I tell you what, got some bananas anyway. They're, they're going a bit manky, so I'll be using them. What's my banana splits? Can't beat it. I'm on the wrong channel. You're not on the wrong channel, Wendy. You're all right. You'll be okay. Don't you worry about nothing. Don't you worry about nothing, Wendy. You're all right on here. This is the best channel. This is the channel to be. This is where we. All, this is where all our family is, and that. Eh? Absolutely brilliant. I thought I froze. I have to move my arm every now and then, because otherwise I'd have froze. I'm ready to. You know. You know what I mean? Wednesday, I'm going, I don't know whether to upload me um, a recipe or the food all um, on my video one. I've got a nice video one of the Christmas time. But it's not Christmas yet, so I'm not going to release that. So how about, what do we want? The food all? Um, or shall we do the spicy hearty vegetable soup? You want to see that one? It's entirely up to yourself. I'm still laughing about getting your money back from the ghost chain. <laughs> it's true. So, Vendor, start laughing. What about the ugly duckling? They named me after the ugly duckling. That's what they did. Yeah, I got your money back.
David ought to go to the fair because he's got such a long head. Split it in two, like put elastic bands round round your ear, Dave, and then spin round. A couple of quid a go, you need a fortune. Hey, in these hard times, you've got to be thinking of these things. I. Minnie, keep it clean, my friend. You shouldn't really be asking um, Helen if she's doing the soldering videos. What videos are you talking about? What, you know? Let's keep, let's keep it clean now, now, Minnie. You're still doing, you're still doing videos, are you? Once a week, yeah, that's it. I don't, so I was whoosh, had me sweating then. If you're still doing other videos, you know what I mean? It's, oh, unbelievable. Ha uh ha. -huh. Super chat. Thanks, Raphael. I could do with I could do with some petrol money. Now, much appreciated, Raphael. Top man. Thanks. Absolutely awesome of you. Really is Raphael. You did have to, Raphael. But like I say, it goes towards the ingredients, my friend. Massive shout out to Raphael Scrapper, my buddy. Kathleen Elliott, Raphael, you're awesome. He's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Great guy. Great, great family here. We are, honestly. Thanks, Raphael. That's great gesture, Raphael. Thank you, uh, Raphael. I really do appreciate it. You know that. Massive shout out to Raphael. Great guy. Absolutely brilliant. Really is. No, Don, don't pull yourself down. Boogie on down, yeah. It's the way of life, isn't it? As long as you're happy, that's the main thing. Right, we've been on here one hour and eight minutes. Unbelievable. I do that sometimes when the, it works. Oh dear, I don't get notifications for some subscribers too. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. You have all these subscribers. I mean, two credits over 5,000. And she says that every time um, with the views and all that, she could be getting a hell of a lot more. We all should be getting more. We should all be getting more. But we don't. Because it's dead wood. Dead wood. Lucas here, Hardy. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Thanks for coming. Always welcome. And we say hi to Lurka Sarah. She's just lurking, watch her. You know what I mean? Shine means carrying peas, small stuff makes stuff makes a big difference. It's so right, my friend. So right. We are family. We really are family. It says I have a full bell. I won't see it so I can get it working again properly. I've got to go. I've lost the cat. So I'm going out to find her now, Moyle. Helen? I hope you find your um, your pussy. I mean your cat, sorry. Um, and I want to truly thank you for coming. You're absolutely awesome. You really are. Yes, Paddy, that cat again. Um, I've got to look for for my cat. Um, it might come in at three o'clock, half three in the morning, but I'll be waiting up for that cat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it straight out the back door. And I do that 
every night, doesn't matter how long it takes for that cat to come in, I'll be waiting for it to put it out. I lost it on Friday. Cats just roam around everywhere, Ellen. They'll only come back when they want something to eat. They're up to no good. That's why you get kittens everywhere and that, you know what I mean? So, good luck in finding that cat. Perhaps get a, um, can you, can you buy them cat things, you know, like the ring of bell and all that, so you can find out where they are. I just caught a mouse in my trap. Bloody hell. I can't believe you just caught a mouse stuck. We're running in the other direction, the wife says. She'd, she'd, she'd break a, uh, a rat in two, but when it comes to a mouse, don't like them. All spiders. There you go. No spiders. Right, my friends. It's I've not I've not. It's not my cat. It's someone else's, but she stays with me. It must be all that uh, champagne you're giving it. It must be giving that cat champagne. That's why it's staying with you. Because you do drink a lot of that champagne and that. Hundred pound bottles of champagne you sell and drinks. We're in the wrong job, aren't we? Eight hey, hundred pound bottles, it's unbelievable. I'd be too bloody frightened to drink it as well. It's right there, Suka. Cats come when they want something. Right, like kids aren't they, Suka? Right, my friends. You get living in the country. You get mice from time to time. Yeah, you're bound to get wherever, wherever there's um, fields, there's rats and mice. Um, hey, children. children hanging around in the fields, sneaking up on you. You know what I mean? They only come when they want out. They only ring you when they want out. As soon as any of my kids ring me up, you think, how much is going to cost? You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Anyway, it's been a great night. Um, I want to thank everybody that's come in. Thanks for the super chat, Raphael. You're all absolutely awesome. Um, I'll be uploading the video on Wednesday. Um, I will be showing you the mozzarella chicken uh, next time when we go live. That's a nice dish as well. Um, we've got a few videos to upload, like I said. Um, the food all. Um, we've got a Christmas one that we're going to uh, send out as well. And we will be doing that, um, the giveaway. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, Kathleen Elliott, I want to thank you. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen you, uh, but never forgotten. Always remember you. And it's been absolutely awesome to see you tonight. I hope to see more of you. Um, Scrapping Irish, sorry, um, we're about to go, my friend. Um, I'm on a mission. But I just want to thank you for your time coming to see us really do appreciate that so from carry on jeff and john uh don't forget if anybody can help me with that uh how you import music from youtube to iMovie put it in the comments for me and i'll try and follow it that'd be much appreciated uh just mike who's still here thank you uh uk scrapper fantastic guy paul uh paddy um yeah We've got to go to the airport to meet Paddy in Australia. Melbourne, he's going to take us to that Mexican uh, Mexican place. It's been nice of him, won't it? It's loaded, he's got a 17 bedroom house. He's Paddy Joe cooking. Multi millionaire. Susan Lee, thanks for a great live. God bless, stay safe. Stay safe, Susan. Hope you help. Okay. 18 bedroom. Sorry, I do apologise, Paddy. I really do apologise. That extra bedroom has put another fifty thousand dollars on top of it. So I do approve it. 18, 18. So we, we think we're all out with a five bed. We think we're all out with a five bed. We only we just live in a 
Peasants. Peasants. The peasants compared to that paddy. Now only can afford to send bloody stuff over. Unbelievable. Bye everyone. Right, gotta go. Thanks everybody. See you all next Sunday. If I don't come live on Wednesday, but I'll put it on the notifications. You're all absolutely awesome. Now that's what you call an awesome waller. <laughs>